Hello friends, today I am here to discuss with you interpersonal skills. But before I start interpersonal skills, I just want to wish you a very happy new year that is 2019 and I am sure that you must have taken some resolution to make your life comfortable, to make your professional life quite successful. Well, what is interpersonal skills and why do we discuss interpersonal skills so frequently? In this age of science and technology, we find that interpersonal skills has become the need of the hour. So, it is very important to know that why interpersonal skills are so important. Chances are you will have to interact on a variety of levels throughout your life. Whether you are interviewing for a job, is starting a new relationship or communicating as part of a team, interpersonal skills are important. You have probably already noticed that much of your success depends on communication skills and that some ways of interacting are more effective than others. To improve your interpersonal skills, work on your nonverbal communication, how you interact and managing your image. Now, it is very important to self-assess. Self-assessment to know the skills for interpersonal communication. Ask yourself these questions. If you identify with some of these statements, you may work on to improve your interpersonal skills. How often do you seek approval and affirmation from others? but fear criticism? Well, this is a very important statement, question. Try to associate yourself with this. Is it there in you? How often do you guess at what normal behavior is? Normal behavior, what do we mean by normal behavior? Comfortable, compatibility. How often do you feel as if you are different from other people. Individual variations are there in terms of personality, in terms of communication, in terms of presentation, in terms of appearance. You need to find out the difference. How often do you isolate yourself from and feel afraid of people in authority roles? Become a leader is very, very tough task. How to lead a particular group, a society, an organization is tough task and for that you have to be expert in interpersonal skills. How often do you downplay your own accomplishments and good deeds. How often do you have difficulty following a project through from beginning to end? And how often do you get frightened or stressed in the company of an angry person? How often do you lie in order to avoid conflict? We always ask to a student and ask a student and I mean the trainee to go for introspection. What does it mean to know yourself, to unlead yourself, to explore yourself so that you may go ahead in a role? How often? Do you judge yourself harshly? And how often do you feel that others or society take advantage of you? And how often do you take yourself seriously and view other relationships just as seriously? And how often do you have problems developing and maintaining intimate relationships? 
and how often do you feel guilty when you stand up for yourself or put your needs first and how often do you feel responsible for others and find it easier to have concern for others than for yourself and how often do you feel or to act impulsive before considering alternative actions or possible consequences and how often do you have difficulty feeling or expressing your own feeling well a number of questions now what is needed you have to identify yourself with these statement where you are do you ask such questions to yourself and if you find any of these statement very close to you you take it seriously work on that to be a good communicator that is interpersonal skills even with the technological revolution constantly unveiling alternatives to face to face communication these skills are essential in the workplace and of course i am discussing interpersonal skills because we need to excel in this world in this professional world so one has to be very careful and serious when we talk of interpersonal skill until human kind creates a self motivated robotic workforce wide ranging interpersonal skills are still one of the greatest assets one can have we know what is artificial intelligence but till this date artificial intelligence fails to compete with human feelings and emotions therefore interpersonal skills are something very special to mankind now today i'm going to cover the topics what are interpersonal skills because we talk of soft skill interpersonal skill technical communication effective communication so it is important to be discuss this particular aspect that is interpersonal skills why do interpersonal skills matter why there is a need to discuss interpersonal skills in detail how to properly showcase interpersonal skills in one's resume and covering letter now let us start with interpersonal skills because we have already discussed that there are various types of situations and conditions where a particular individual has to show his or her role play so how to get expertise it is through personality enhancement or it is through interpersonal skills to enhance that it is very important to know what are interpersonal skills people with good interpersonal skills tend to be able to work well in a team or group and with other people more generally they are able to communicate effectively with others whether family friends colleagues customers clients interpersonal skills are therefore vital in all areas of life at work in education and socially through awareness of how one interact with others and with practice one can improve one's interpersonal skills i have seen person well trained in communication in a very casual manner but in a very professional situation a specialized situation the same person may fail 
may lose the confidence to exercise all those qualities that he or she generally you know capable of. We have all been developing our interpersonal skills since childhood usually subconsciously this is a fact. I mean our mother tongue first language we learn through society through environment through family member and we need not to put effort to learn or to develop these languages communication or a style of communications. Interpersonal skills often be become so natural that we may take them for granted this is true never thinking about how we communicate with other people we take it for granted and there we fail to get command expertise if you have developed good habits this is fine however it is of course also possible to develop bad habits and then fail to understand why our communications or relationships are suffering. So, bad and good only with comparison we can find out that where is lacuna, what are the shortcomings, what are the limitations and how to improve these limitations. However, with a little time and effort one can develop both awareness and these skills that is interpersonal skills. Good interpersonal skills can improve many aspects of one's life, human life both professionally and socially as they lead to better understanding and better relationships. Interpersonal skills are also sometimes referred to as social skills. Yes, because we have to move in a society, we have to move in an organization that is all part of a society. People skills, soft skills or life skills that is social skills, people skills, soft skills or life skills. They are all part or various aspects of interpersonal skill. Although all these terms can include interpersonal skills, they tend to be broader and may therefore also refer to other types of skills. Many people also use the term communication skills for interpersonal skills but interpersonal skills covers more including decision making, problem solving plus working in a group or team and emotional intelligence. Yes, these are the aspects that are essential to excel in a professional world, in a developed civilized professional society. Interpersonal skills are measures of how adept you are at interacting with others. Active listening is an interpersonal skill as is knowing how to communicate to someone else that you respect him or her. When problems arise you use your interpersonal skills to resolve the conflict with others. People learn interpersonal skills by interacting with family members, going to school and socializing with their peers. Healthy interpersonal skills reduce stress, resolve conflict, improve communication, enhance intimacy and increase understanding and promote joy. 
A successful person is one who knows how to speak, when to speak, what to speak. And as I said that we learn language even in family unconsciously and from the very childhood we develop the manners, etiquette, ethics and everything. So, it is not important that you develop interpersonal skills through education only. It is that how much you feel alert, how much you feel of others, how much you observe society, how much you feel for yourself. That is why, I mean looking inward, looking into introspection is very important. If you feel for something, the language used for you, naturally you will avoid to use that type of language for other. And not only language, as in the initial, I mean um, sentences I said that you need to improve your non-verbal communication. And what do we mean by non-verbal communication? Your physical appearance, gesture, posture, even a smile, your active, uh, active performance. So, this is all interpersonal scale and it is your intelligence that will give you order to move, to behave in a particular manner. So, we are discussing what are interpersonal skills. We all use interpersonal skills every day, every day at home with family members, then in an organization where you work, if you are in a school with your friend, with your teacher, if you are in a college with your friend, with your teacher. So, we use every day, every moment is strongly associated with emotional intelligence. Interpersonal skills in a professional context are attributes that are used to understand what motives employees and how, what motivates employees and how they use their knowledge to achieve the best result. So, we have to take care of that as I said that where we are using language and what kind of language and what is the context. As you make the transition into the world of work, interpersonal skill become increasingly important. There are hundreds of skills that could be defined as interpersonal, all used to varying degrees in the workplace depending on where you work and your level of responsibility. Yes, your level of responsibility that also decides that how to speak. We talk of team leadership, team work, even in such capacity also interpersonal skills are very important. Interpersonal skills are the qualities and behaviors we exhibit while interacting with other people. They are considered to be one of the most sought after types of soft skill. So, I told you that all these are similar technical communication, effective communication, soft skill, interpersonal skill, but if you try to move into there are certain differences, but going to the same direction. We demonstrate them whenever we engage in any kind of verbal and non-verbal communication. In fact, qualities as basic as body language and attitude towards other greatly affect our chances of excelling at work. 
A strong interpersonal skills are a key indicator. Keep in mind, a strong interpersonal skills are a key indicator of success in a working environment as benefits include the ability to cooperate with teammates to solve difficult problems as well as simply enhancing one's popularity around the office. I have seen a student carrying very high CGPA but not speaking much, introvert. But a mediocre student being extrovert excels in his or her life, in a professional life. This is how we can determine the importance of interpersonal skill. Well, uh, lacking these interpersonal skills might lead to conflict with colleagues or management and cause others to see you or any person as a hindrance to getting the job done. It is true. If you do not know how to communicate, you will be odd men out. You will be called a black ship. People may not like you to talk to. Then how, what to do? Before applying a job, you have to develop all these interpersonal skills. When applying for a position, it is important to consider what interpersonal skills are necessary in your, in, in your target role if you are applying for a job and the industry. And then you need to make every effort to match those requirements with demonstrated examples from your own experiences in good organization. Well, even during the time of interview, they assess the candidate, the way they carry on dialogue, conversation. So, before you apply or appear in an interview, you ensure yourself to develop a very good kind of communication skills that is interpersonal skills. Employers often seek out those candidates who have a strong interpersonal skills. They actively look for applicants who have the ability to work collaboratively. Collaboratively, see that is team, communicate effectively and display the commitment and work ethic that they require. Even organizations like IITs, IIM, topmost universities, they try to find out the good interpersonal skills in a candidate, so that he or she may work smoothly in these organization. So, we can say that the interpersonal skills are an incredible asset to success. It is all about working with other people. An ability to get along with others while performing the job. Characteristic traits like manners, attitude, courtesy, habits, behavior and appearance which help us to communicate and maintain relationship with others. So, these are incredible asset and if you want to get success in your life, please go for such skills, develop interpersonal skills and there are various ways that we shall discuss later on. But what my point is that nobody can help you to develop interpersonal skills in a closed classroom. 
no book can give you tips to develop interpersonal skills I mean in a close confined room what is needed to make conversation to make yourself socialize to to talk to people as much as you can and this is how you know the society you know your organization you know the people around you and you know how to be a good human being valued human being in a society why do interpersonal skills matter this is the another important question we all know how to communicate we all know how to speak but then why this particular phrase interpersonal skills why do interpersonal skills matter without interpersonal skills everyday business would be very difficult business day to day life even in family outside the family in an organization in a professional world it would be very difficult since almost all aspects of work involve communication many jobs also involve collaboration and interaction with different types of people and interpersonal skills are vital to make this happen see how important interpersonal skills are for any collaborations that is joint work team work during a job interview recruiters will look to see how the candidates interpersonal skill fit in with those required in the current working environment they will often base their decision to recruit on whether the candidate possesses the right interpersonal skills to succeed within the business so interpersonal skills help you to start and maintain good relationships they are life skills that help you successfully interact with acquaintances friends and co-workers they are soft behavioral skills that every recruiter is looking for when they call you for a phone interview or have you come in when they meet you in person it is your body language how you respond to questions the questions you ask the way you receive information the way you work with others the way you deal with clients all these are interpersonal skills in short interpersonal skills are essential to everyday life let alone to getting your first job that is to say that if you have a very good interpersonal skills you alone are enough to handle the job interpersonal skills are more critical today than ever as they equip you with meaningful ways to remain competitive and be, to be productive if you are a high school student these skills will allow you to stay on the top of the class will give you a confidence to boost and will enhance your personality which means better chances of admission to a good college see the importance of interpersonal skills if you are in college these skills will enable you to build your profile and again they will polish your personality and set you apart from the candidates while applying for your dream job if you are a working professional 
you need these skills to be on top of your work, manage time efficiently, take decisions that will benefit your company, manage your team, maintain a pleasant work culture and stand out in whatever it is what you do that you do. Now, strong interpersonal skills if we talk of what are these strong interpersonal skills? What do we mean by a strong interpersonal skills? A strong interpersonal skills help you to stand out from the crowd whether it is in a college group activity or job interview. They complement your technical abilities, enhance performance, boost social interactions and give you an edge over your competitions. So, these are the interpersonal skills means that will make you different from the crowd, from the common people, from the people who are in a group. You stand to be a very different here are some advantages of good interpersonal skills. It gives you quality to build team dynamics. People with great interpersonal skills make the best team players. They gel easily with their team and people like to place their trust in them. That is to say creating friendly atmosphere, being friendly with others. It gives you quality to develop key life skills like problem solving and decision making. These two aspects problem solving and decision making very difficult. The best thing you learn while developing interpersonal skill is problem solving and decision making. For example, when you have good relations and associations with everyone in your team, people tend to turn to you for advice. This will help you to gain immense experience in identifying solutions to critical problems and taking bold decisions. Naturally, people will look at you if you are team leader for decision making and also solving the problem. Another is a strength, a strength communications. This is another vital interpersonal skill which is discussed in, I mean, in, in, in several sphere of our life. Effective communication of goals and agenda improves not only the output of the project but also the morale of the team. So, see the importance of a strong interpersonal skill, effective communication. It enhances employment opportunity. Organizations are always interested in candidates with excellent interpersonal skills as they can be effective communicators, great leaders, good team players and efficient managers. Paves path to success if you have a very good interpersonal skills. These skills will always help you to reach your goals no matter how great your technical skills are. Interpersonal skills will also play a major role towards your path to success. Now for today this is over. I am sure that you must have gathered some idea of interpersonal skills. Well, in next lecture we, we shall discuss what are the important interpersonal skills. Thank you very much.